Hello everyone, welcome to Greenlight. Today we're talking about a music video I directed called Desire for Jazz Junior. We're going to start with adjusting the frame. On the top left, there's a panel that says effect controls, which is on your editor window. Under that should come up video effects and then a tab that says motion. You click the motion tab and blue marks will show up surrounding your frame of your video. Now with this you can adjust whatever size you want. Now to make it squeeze or stretch out and stuff like that you might need to go back into the effect controls panel in your editor window and look under position and scale and there's a little box that says uniform scale now when you uncheck that box you can squeeze it do whatever you like on there now what i'm doing here is adjusting the widescreen bars over existing widescreen bars on there to give it more of a faded out look into the actual image from the widescreen the widescreen letterbox think you got cash but not like me think you got swag but not like me no no you know how jazz okay the second tool we're going to talk about today is the ultra key now i got a chroma key film grain video that I found on the internet to put over um, this music video to give it more of a gritty um, unfinished kind of look. So the first thing we're going to do is what I'm showing you here is you see the green screen um, you go into the if, uh, you go into uh, the right side over here in effects and you type in ultra key now ultra key you can be able to use a lot when it comes to green screen work or blue screen work or anything like that now you can mess around with it i've done a couple things and used it on a white wall uh, um i used it yeah i used it on the sky that was my son there i don't know if you guys heard him. I, I use it on the sky and, and, and turn it all black and stuff like that for a documentary I'm working on, which will come out soon. There should be a trailer at the end of this year, before the end of this year. You can toss like a frisbee. Rap is as close to the end. I'm going to put you out your mystery. But stay twisting. Now on to the third tool I use in this music video. So this one's kind of interesting. There's a bunch of things that this can be used for. Um, it's basically when you write in a text and everything, which I'll show you afterwards how to do a text. Basically, um, when you have any image on here on the timeline, you look at the top left and you'll see the motions tab and the timer. So remember the timer, you know, tells... Adobe Premiere when and where to move things essentially so you have to move it kind of yourself so with the motion tab you click you get the blue bars around your image you move it off screen and then at the beginning of your clip that you want to bring in and then you bring it back in again in a different point of your video where you want that clip to come back in. Now, all this time, you must have the blue timer pressed for this to happen. Now again, you could use all these kind of tools with anything. It's up to you and your imagination and what you think of while editing. You could even make things and people 
move across screen if you want to. It's all on how you use the camera with the green screen. <laughs> On the bottom left of your timeline, there's a little skinny tab between all of your footage and your timeline. On the bottom of that, there should be a T. You can press that and then move your cursor right over any part of your image where you want to start typing text. I would suggest try to be in the 16 by 9 so it doesn't go off and then you'll have to scale it and do a bunch of um, extra things where your text will look um, quite crappy. Basically the resolution would go down if you're like, uh, don't have the scaling right or something. I don't been on my grind. You say you hide up in them streets, but you telling them lies. If it ain't about paper, jazz gonna pick up his line. Stay with them bangers, it's a wrap. When the I other really cool things with your text that you can do is there are tools within your editor window that pops up after you do a text. It's towards the more of the bottom. You'll see it'll say it'll have like three little boxes. Um with different colors it could be white or whatever in this one it's it's white um there's fill stroke and shade basically you can um make it look like your image is illuminating like this one or you can have it uh look like there's some depth or anything like that give it a shadow and things like that if it if you want it to look like it's in the space that it's in the next quick tool that i'm going to show you and not go into too much depth into it again you can comment on you can comment below and let me know if you want more details in this but this is a part of uh, Premiere Pro where you can um, adjust your audio and not just uh, the volume level but um, reduce noise, uh, reduce uh, popping noises in the background or anything like that. Um, part here which you won't see right away um, when you click on the essential sound tab you will first see this window. It'll say dialogue, music, SFX, and ambience. So you can adjust as you go. You can also put things in the background. Now, again, I will go more in depth with that in another video if you like. Um, I'm only going to do it if it's suggested again. So please comment below if you really need this. Because this is a music video, the only thing I really adjusted here was just more or less the the overall audio um, the song was already mixed and final mixed from jazz and his crew thank you guys i really hope you enjoyed this episode i don't really do tutorials this is just more five great tools to use on premiere pro that i use constantly i mean i, I can't say how many times i use them but if you really enjoyed these kind of tutorials and things like that just comment down below with any suggested um, tips that you'd like to learn that you yet to learn. Um, there's a bunch of things on YouTube. I'm sure other people have already covered them and gone into great details. But um, if you like the way I'm presenting them, then I am definitely down to help you out. Before I say good my, my goodbyes, I want to introduce my son. Want to say hi to the peoples? Hello, peoples. Say hi. It's Logan. Say hi, Logan. Hi. All right. I guess we're going to say our goodbyes from here before he presses something and stop recording. So thank you guys. Thank you guys for joining us today on... <laughs> so thank you guys for joining us today on Greenlight <laughs> and hope to see you next week. Actually, stay tuned and you'll see something very soon next week. Say goodbye, Logan. Bye. Yeah, you tell them. Ah, bye. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, all done.